The aim of mounting is to handle small or odd-shaped specimens and to protect fragile materials, thin layers or coating during preparation as well as to provide good edge retention. Mounting produces specimens with uniform size so that it is easier to handle in automatic holders for further preparation steps. Basically two methods are available for this purpose hot mounting and cold mounting. In this video we will see about the hot mounting. In hot mounting the specimen is mounted under heat and pressure with a hot mounting press. Let's get into the experiment. First on the switch and then press the up button in order to move the specimen holder up. Once the specimen holder is moved up then place the specimen on the specimen holder without touching the surface of the press. Then lower the specimen holder by pressing the down button. Then put mounting compound or resin by using a funnel. The compression mounting resins are typically powdered or granular forms of thermoset resins such as phenolics, melamines and epoxies. In this experiment, Bakelite Black is used as the mounting compound which is in the granular form. Once you put sufficient molding resin, then lower the sample holder by pressing the down button. Then spray the mold release spray on the mold cap as well as within the surface of the mold. In this case, silicone spray is used. Then close the mold with a mold cap and tight. And then on the machine. Once you on the machine, the temperature and pressure will keep on increasing until the specified value. In this case, the pressure is 20 MPa. And we have few knobs to indicate the heating and cooling process. So one knob is for heating and the other knob is for cooling process. So when the heating is in progress, the timer in the heating knob will keep on rotating. And on cooling process, the timer on cooling knob will rotate. Usually heating is processed for 5 minutes and cooling is processed for 6 minutes. But it's not mandatory, it depends on the sample and the machine specification. By the time of heating, the LED on the heating knob will blim. Similarly, on cooling, the LED on cooling side will lit up. And once the process is end, both the LEDs will switch off. This can be clearly seen in these photos. If it is heating process, the heating LED will light up. If it is cooling process, the cooling LED will light up. Once the process is stopped, both the LEDs will be switched off. Then after some time, if the system is cooled, then we can remove the mold cap and press the upper button in order to move the mold up. Once it moved up, remove the mold cap as well as we can remove the sample also. There you can see the sample. Once the sample is produced, we can observe it through the microscope because head retention is an important consideration when selecting a mounting resin and hot press. Hot mounting compounds tend to provide better head retention compared to cold mounting resins. So in these microscopic images, you can see the clear edge of the sample as well as the mounting resin. After you remove the sample, switch off the machine and end the practical.